All right, so this video we're going to take a, take a look at future value of an ordinary annuity. So it says the future value S of an ordinary annuity, uh, misspelled used, used to accumulate funds is given by S is equal to R times 1 plus I to the N minus 1 over I. R is the payment at the end of each period what capital R is. Little r is the interest rate and you notice you don't see the little r or the m in the formula but I'm gonna get there. Okay, m is the number of compounding periods per year so if it's compounded annually m would be 1, semi-annually m would be 2, quarterly quarterly m would be 4 and monthly m would be 12 and daily M would be 365 and then T represents the number of years so the reason we need the little r the M and the T is for I and N which you can see those are in the formula well I is R over M and N is M times T okay so the future value of an ordinary annuity okay so an ordinary annuity, okay, that's where the payments, where payments are made at the end of each period and the frequency of the payments is the same as the frequency of compounding the interest, okay, and the future value, okay, the future value of an ordinary annuity, that's the, that's the total amount of money that you will that you will have earned from your payments and interest okay so you are making all these payments at the end of each period and it's accumulating this interest well how much money are you gonna have total at the end of all of that okay that's what that's what you're finding with future value of an ordinary annuity all right so let's go ahead and look at our examples so I've got one two uh, three examples. Okay, so find the future value of the ordinary annuity with the given, given payments and interest. All right, so first, well, let's just go ahead and write down the formula. So we'll have it written down. So S is R times, and then that's going to be 1 plus I to the N minus 1 over I. So there's our formula. So let's see what we need here. Well, we've got R is 12,000. That's going to be our payments. That's going to be the payments that we make at 6.2% interest compounded annually for eight years. All right. So at the end of each year, we're paying $12,000. Okay. $12,000 at the end of each year. It's compounded uh, annually. All right. So let's go ahead and write down what we have. Well, we know we've got R is 12,000. Okay, R, little r, that's the that's the interest rate, 6.2 percent. So we'll write that as a decimal, 0 0.062. M is the number of compounding periods. Well, since it's compounded annually, M is one, and then we need to find what. I and N. So I, remember, is R over M, which is 0 0.062 over 1, which is 0 0.062. And N is M times T. M is 1 times T. T is the number of years, which is 8. So that gives us 8. And so now we just plug all this in. So we've got S is equal to R, which is 12,000 times 1 plus I, which is 0 0.062, and that's raised to the N, which is 8, minus 1, and all that divided by I, which is 0 0.062. And so that's going to give us S is equal to now here comes the fun part, plugging it into our calculator. Now, 
I think the best way to do it is, and I'll talk you through how I plug this in. So we've, we'll do 1 plus 0 0.062, type that into your calculator, hit enter, and you'll get, one, of course, 1 1.062, and then just hit your exponent button, so raised to the eighth, and hit equals. And that should give you 1.618065634. And then hit your minus button, so minus 1, and hit enter. And that will give you 0 0.618065634. And then hit your divided by button, so divided by 0 0.062, and hit enter. And that should give you 9688 zero zero five four four and then times hit hit your multiplication button times the twelve thousand and hit enter and that gives you one one nine six two five and we'll round to two decimals so point six one so that gives us a hundred and nineteen thousand six hundred twenty five dollars and sixty one cents that's how much we would have at the end of eight years if we made payments of twelve thousand dollars compounded annually now you know i i kind of talked you through punching that into your calculator if you can punch it all in at one time that's fine just it's just you're more likely to make a mistake by you know not putting a leaving a parenthesis out or something like that so all right so let's take a look at the next one so here we have uh, R is 7,300, 9% interest compounded semi-annually for six years. All right, so let's write our formula down. S is R times, and that's going to be 1 plus I to the N minus 1 over I. All right, so just like in the problem before, let's write down what we have. So I've got R. Of course, that's 7,300. Uh, little r, my interest rate, that's 9%, so 0 0.09. M is compounded semi-annually, so M is 2. And then I need I. I can get I now since I have R and M. So that's going to be 0 0.09 over 2. And 0 0.09 divided by 2, that's going to give us... Uh, 0 0.045 and then N that's M times T which is 2 times whoop, 2 times 6 which is 12 and remember I is R over M okay and there's our R over M so now let's just plug everything in so I get S is equal to R, which is 7,300, times 1 plus 0 0.045, that's our I, raised to the 12th, minus 1 over I, which is 0 0.045. Okay. And then, once again, punch this into your calculator. So I've got 1.045 raised to the 12th, enter, minus 1, enter, divided by 0 0.045 equals, on your, or enter on your calculator, and that should give me 15.46403184, and then times 7300. All right, so that's going to give me 112887 point, and we'll round to two decimal places, 43. And so there's my answer. Okay. All right, so now let's look at a let's look at a word problem. It says a typical pack a day smoker in Illinois spends about three hundred and seven dollars and fifty cents per month on cigarettes suppose the smoker invests that amount at the end of each month in an investment fund that pays a return of four point nine percent compounded monthly what would the account be worth after 40 years all right so let's see how much money you would have 
All right, so let's write our formula down. S is R times 1 plus I to the N minus 1 over I. All right, so let's see. R, or big R, that's the payments we're going to make. So that's 307.5. Point fifty, and actually we can just leave off the zero. Point five zero and point five is the same exact thing. All right, and then our interest rate, little r, that's four point nine percent, so that's point zero four nine. M, well, it's compounded monthly, so M would be twelve. And now we can get I, that's point zero four nine over. 12. Now, I have a feeling that's going to be a big old long decimal. 0 0.049 divided by 12. Yeah, and it's 0 0.00408 and then 3's repeating. So, what we're going to do here, let's just leave it like this. And we're going to plug it into the formula like that. Okay, so we don't have to type in all those decimals. And remember, I is R over M. And then N, that's M times T, which M, that's 12, times T, well, the number of years, that's 40. And so that's going to be 12 times 40 is 480. Okay. All right, so now we have everything to plug in. So let's look at this. So we've got S is equal to 307.5 times 1 plus, and that's going to be 0 0.049 over 12, and then that's raised to the 480 minus 1 over 0 0.049 over 12. Okay, see there's I and there's I. We just didn't divide it out this time. All right, now I'll walk you through this, pl uh, plugging this into your calculator. All right, so type in 1 plus 0 0.049 divided by 12 and hit enter. Okay, and that should give you 1.00408 and then 3 is repeating. Alright, now we're going to raise that to the 480, so just hit the exponent button. So, raised, and you should have ANS and then that little house top symbol. Type in 480, raised to the 480, hit equals, and you should get 7.0710514821. Minus one, then just hit minus one, and that'll give you 6.0710514821482. All right, now we want to, so that's the numerator there, so we want to divide it by this. So just hit your di divided by on your calculator, so you should have ANS and then the division symbol, and then when you when you punch this in, put it in parentheses. So open parentheses, 0 0.049 divided by 12 and close parentheses and hit enter. And that should give you 1,486.788118. And that's all of this. And now times 307.5 and hit enter. And so after 40 years, let's see how much you would have. 7, 1, 8, 7, point three four. No, point three five if we round it to 2. So 1, 2, 3. All right. And so there's your answer, $457,187.35. All right. So hope that helped. Uh, and, you know, if it didn't work out on your calculator the way I told you, you might have a different one where you have to enter it in different. Just, uh, you know, just talk to your teacher about it. Get them to show you or, you know, I don't have any videos on punching stuff into calculators. So, but the calculator I'm using is a TI-30X2S. So, and, you know, m most calculators will work like that. Uh, when you can type it in the way it looks so i don't know so just practice all right so thanks for watching give me a like subscribe 
and see you later.